Okay, let's talk next about managing important models. This is a really important subject. So we talked a lot about some of the issues that we can, uh, and I'm sure many of you have experience with performance issues of objects when you import them to Archicad, or perhaps when um, you bring in models, et cetera, um, as you place them down from manufacturers and stuff, they can be really heavy. Good example is this tree here, right? Let's say we want to do a bunch of landscaping. Um, and um, we want to be able to, uh, you know, bring in some trees, some foliage, and not just use the standard ones out of Archicad because most of it looks more real. Well, we bring these things in, and they're very high polygon count. And the thing is, we don't really need them to be so high because we're never going to be that close. Uh, so we can reduce down that polygon count really easily. And here's how we do it. So here we've got the, the tree, right? But we're ready to, to edit this tree. We simply select the, the tree object there. Um, and then we go to poly reduce and we click freeze geometry. And then we can also decimate the steps up or down, change it from two to three or one. Um, and you can see how just by selecting that without even getting into editing um, the decimation steps, which basically just increases or decreases the amount of, of uh, uh, polygon reduction. By doing that, we have really reduced down the amount of, of polygons here. So we've reduced this down to 18.2 for 4%, I think it is, um, to start with. And we could go further down as well. Uh, and so really we can start getting this down quite a, a considerably. And for a tree, you would never even notice it because you're never gonna look that closely at it. But it, it gives you that ability to have some good content that you can bring in and control the performance of. Just like the sync I had earlier, I could have done the same thing, right? I could have taken that Revit sync, I converted it over, and I could have then taken it into model port, and I could have actually started to use this poly reduction to be able to manage that file size a bit. Now, you remember I mentioned earlier that we have three different save modes. Uh, we were using the GDL a minute ago for that object that we customized, but we also have the model port uh, save mode, and we have the GDL with model port save mode. So what is the difference between these two? So the default is the model port save mode. And what that does is that will reduce the file size of the object. So it's maintaining that file size as up to eight times smaller, which is significant when you start adding all these objects up that you're bringing into your project. If you wanna use the standard uh, uh, format, uh, you can set that to GDL, and that's the standard format out of the box with Archicad, or you can combine the two. Okay, now if you combine the two, GDL and Moloport, uh, then what happens is that you can share that object with anybody else, and whether they have Moloport or not, they'll be able to use that. If you are working with someone um, that, uh, and you're using the Moloport format for your objects, and you want them to be, be able to use uh, the file as well, and they don't have a Moloport uh, on their computers that they bought, you can actually have them just install Moloport for free, and when they install Monoport, uh, they will then also, also be able to take advantage of the file reduction of these objects as well. So that's really important. So here we go. If we take a look at GDL, let's, let's look at how this works. So if I update this, and I click the Update button, it's going to update that file, right? And now I'm going to go to my File menu. And when I go to my file menu, I open up the library manager, I'm going to notice that that now with the GDL is 13 megabytes in size. And so you remember I said that this is eight times smaller. So now I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, oh, it didn't quite work there. Sorry about that. Now, let me go back to that for just a second. I'm not sure what happened there. All right, so give it a second. There we go. We're going to close that. And now, if we change this to model port and we do the same thing, we update uh, that uh, file. Now, we'll go back to the file menu, go to library manager. And now, we click that same file in our library manager. You'll see it's 2.2 megabytes. So, going from 13 down to 2.2 is very significant. And so this is what we regularly see is about eight times smaller uh, in terms of the compression size that Monoport is able to add to these objects. 
Now, we also can manage multiple models. So that means that you don't, you're not just limited to one model to open up a model for at a time. I can open up a number of different objects and models at the same time. Now, I can also batch import, which is really important. Let's say, for example, that you have a number of different objects from manufacturers that you've downloaded or from 3D Warehouse, wherever you, you downloaded the, the objects, and you'd like to just open them up all at the same time. So just click open, and they will all then uh, merge um, into your editor. Um, and then if you open up the object here, object settings, you'll see that we have all those objects imported in, and then you can begin to open those in the editor and start editing them. Okay, I know I've covered a lot today. Uh, so uh, for those of you who have not yet used a model port uh, and would like to kind of check it out, demo it, try it out, uh, here's how you do that. So basically go to our website, to archvista.com slash model port. You can click the uh, download trial button there. That'll take you to this webpage and simply enter your email in and then when you click download now, it'll take you to a web page where you can download model port for um, whatever version of ArchiCAD you have, um, uh, as well as Mac or Windows. This is actually a good quote from one of our clients. Uh, we released model port 3.0 model port 3 a couple of months back, and Chuck has been using it. Uh, and he's, he said that it's actually one of the best versions he's used, of uh, the three versions that he's, he's used thus far. So uh, we're getting some good feedback on it. And hopefully you'll see uh, good feedback in using it as well. Also, I just wanted to um, uh, note, if you have any questions, you can email us as well at info at archbistle.com. 